In this video, we are going to learn about decimal number conversion. Till now, in previous videos, we have learned about binary, octal, hexadecimal and of course decimal number systems. We have seen that all these are positional value systems. That essentially means that when we want to convert octal, binary or hexadecimal number into the decimal number, all we need to do is multiply each digit by its positional value and add it. Essentially, to convert binary, octal and hexadecimal to decimal number, we just need to add the product of each digit with its positional value and you get the decimal equivalent. But we also need to know how to convert the decimal number into binary, octal or hexadecimal number. So let us see how we can convert the decimal number to binary number. We have a number here 43. What we have to do is we have to repeatedly divide it by 2 till I get 0 as the quotient and at each step I will record the remainder. Let us do it here. Here is the number 43 and we are going to divide it by 2. This is the quotient that I am getting and this is my remainder. What quotient I have got? I will divide it again by 2, get the quotient record the remainder. I will proceed like this till I get 0 as my quotient. Once I have completed this division, then I will read the remainder from the bottom digit to the top digit, the least significant bit to the most significant bit. Here I am getting 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1. So, essentially 43 to the base of 10. That means the decimal number 43 is equivalent to 1010111 to the base of 2. That is the binary number 101011. So, let us now see how the decimal number can be converted to the octal number system. The system is still the same. We take the decimal number and repeatedly divide it till we get the quotient as 0. We have the number 473 here. We will divide it by 8, record our quotient and our remainder. We will go on doing this till we get the number 0 as our quotient. Whatever is the remainder will be recorded here. After this, we will again read it from bottom to top that is the least significant digit to the most significant digit. Just remember I am not saying here LSB the least significant bit, bit is only used for the binary number system. So here I will get 473 to the base 10 is equivalent to 731 or rather 731 to the base of 8. Now let us see how the decimal number can be converted to hexadecimal. The process remains the same. I will take a number and keep it dividing by 16 here till I get the quotient as 0 and I will read the remainders from the least significant digit at the bottom to the most significant digit at the top. What I will get is 423 to the base 10 is equivalent to 1A7 to the base of 16. So here we have learned how we can convert decimal number system into the other three number systems that is binary, octal and hexadecimal. In the next video we are going to see how we can convert the binary number system to the octal or hexadecimal system and vice versa.